name is Lynn. Today I am doing a cook and clean with me. I haven't really done one in a long time and I thought I would just mix the two together and make a video out of it. Um, I am going to be cleaning my house obviously and also I am going to make a kind of like a one dish meal like a nod to lasagna but it's not exactly lasagna noodles. So it's a really easy meal. I found this um, from someone else. I've been following on Instagram, uh, Beth Peachy. She had put it in her stories. So thanks, Beth. And I think I'll just kind of put my own uh, twist on it. I don't have the exact ingredients or whatever. So I'll do kind of my version of it. Um, but that it's a really easy meal. So I'll be doing that. And then also I may try and make a dessert. Although I think I need to go buy some whipped topping if I do that. So we'll see. I just thought I would take you guys along today. And I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so the dessert I'm making is actually the one that I had shown in my meal ideas. Um, you guys had wondered what the recipe is. Some of you had wondered. So I'm just going to show you. It's really, really easy. It's like a chocolate peanut butter dessert. I don't really know what it's called. My mom used to have the recipe. Um, long ago and I still love it. It's such an easy recipe, but it's I love it. It's super yummy um, Basically, you're gonna need like four cups graham cracker crumbs and One cup peanut butter six tablespoons margarine or butter melted and Three-fourth cup sugar then you're gonna need chocolate and vanilla pudding and whipped topping um, the amounts You can either like this would probably feel like a 9 by 13 pan or something and then um, the chocolate vanilla pudding I'm just gonna use like one box of each basically it's not like a recipe that can be messed up really I don't feel like um, and the thing that makes it really good is that the crumbs have peanut butter in them a lot of like graham cracker crumbs like crusts only have you know butter and sugar and stuff but this has peanut butter in it so that's what makes it really really good um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make this and I'll show you guys crumbs are done they should be a little bit moist like to the point of where they want to kind of stick together so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a pan and you want to reserve like a cup of crumbs or like enough to kind of put a bunch of crumbs on the top but the more crumbs the better in my opinion that's kind of what makes the dessert really good and as for the pudding i'm just using chocolate and vanilla and i'm going to mix them together that way the chocolate isn't as rich um these are big boxes like the five five or more ounces um so i'm not sure it might be plenty i might not use all of it because that will be a lot of it i would say all right so my pudding is done and i will now go ahead and put it in this pan I'm telling you it's so easy and it probably looks like it wouldn't be that good but to me it's just one of those comfort dishes <laughs> I guarantee you your children will like it I'm sure um, so anyways it's just an easy dessert okay so as far as this mini lasagna goes um, these are the noodles I'm using they're actually called uh, mini lasagna noodles, if it's going to focus here. Um, I picked them up at a local bulk food store. I had never used these before, but you could actually use whatever pasta you want. I think at the other time I used penne pasta, but instead of like having lasagna noodles, you're kind of just going to layer it in a pan. And I have two pounds of ground beef here. Um, it's 
it's pretty lean stuff so make sure you use a good quality uh, beef when you're doing this and then I'm also gonna add in some shredded carrots just to add some extra veggies in you know that the boys don't really notice it <laughs> uh, but that's totally optional you don't need to at all you could also add onions if you'd like um, but that's optional basically um, just season it however you want like I'm gonna put in salt pepper um, maybe some onion powder or salt garlic powder parsley flakes just kind of whatever I feel like really I'm kind of just one of those who dumps spices like <laughs> I don't necessarily have a recipe so this is just one of those things that you basically just make your beef however you want to or you wouldn't even have to really season it at all because there's gonna be like pasta sauce on it you're supposed to use pizza sauce I think but I don't have pizza sauce I'm using like a meat pasta sauce type of thing and then I'll show you how we layer it in the pan and I'm also boiling water for the noodles right now so I'm hoping to have an extra pan to put in the freezer as well. So after your hamburger is browned, I added about the equivalent of a whole can of pasta sauce to it um, like I said it would probably be better with um, pizza sauce but this works as well this is kind of what I had on hand uh, I probably didn't add quite a whole thing to two pounds of hamburger but almost basically the idea is you don't want it um, too stiff you want it almost to the point of being a little bit uh, soupy or you know kind of runny almost that way it doesn't get too thick in your pants. Her recipe had called for ricotta cheese, but I just have cottage cheese, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And I'm just gonna layer it on top of it, just kind of however much I feel like. Oops. Drop some. And then I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese in it and stir it around and then add some more on top of it. I decided I'll put in some Parmesan as well. Why not? Okay, so this is what it's looking like once it's done. I'm gonna stick one in the freezer and the other one I'll just stick in the fridge until I'm ready to um, bake it tonight or whenever. And basically you would just cover it with foil and heat it up till it's hot enough, I'd say. It's really easy and it's nothing fancy, but I hope it gives you guys an idea for like an easy weeknight meal. Okay, I'm gonna start cleaning up and hopefully get into cleaning if my boys allow that. Um, they keep running back and forth and I should probably go tend them. I also wanted to mention that I'm gonna be putting some banners of some other ladies channels like throughout the video I'll be placing them. I did that on my last one and I'm gonna do that again today just to help some other people out um, and to maybe give you guys some new um, people to watch, people to follow. So I hope you all enjoy that um, and be sure and go check them out.
two. One. Done. Me and Caden are having a coffee break. Right? Yeah. Oh, still going. I have a recipe for this coffee. Uh, I will try and link it if I remember, but I did a video on this super easy make at home iced coffee. I'm using my Norwex dusting mitt to wipe down uh, my blinds. I don't do this just a whole lot, but I noticed that they were pretty dusty, so I need to at least work on a couple of them or this one once. So the last thing I need to do is clean my floors and I'm using the Caldrea Pear Blossom and Agave. As far as Caldrea scents go, the Sea Salt Neroli is my favorite, I would say, but uh, this is the one that I have in like the all-purpose cleaner, so I'm using that on my floors. Yeah. Okay, so this is the end of the video and it's a lot later. It's probably close to five o'clock. <laughs> I had to take a little break over lunchtime. Well, not exactly break. I had to go mow the yard and do weed eating and stuff and then try to get the boys down for naps. One of them ended up napping, but yeah. I kind of postponed it for a while, so I'm done now, at least what I'm gonna call done for the night. But I hope you all enjoyed tagging along today and if you're new, I'd love to have you join my family here 
and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.